What is going on guys? This is Spade and I decided to share with you guys some more Sentry Gun Madness uh, gameplays. I know a lot of you guys were wanting some new commentaries from me instead of just, uh, how do I say, you know, my live stream games. The, the, I like sharing my live games with you because that shows that I'm not cherry picking my games. It shows that I can perform consistently, win consistently and stuff like that. But apparently the problem is, is I'm not lively enough during my live games because I'm focusing on the game. I spend my time talking to the chat during the intermissions and stuff like that. Whenever I'm in the middle of a game, I'm either talking to my party or focusing on the game with the occasional uh, looking at the chat and talking to them. So li I don't do live commentaries at all like that. I do live gameplays. That's why I title it live gameplay and not a live commentary. But with my Sentry Gun Madness games, I decided to hop, hop back on Black Ops 2, uh, get some kill confirmed, and just drop down Sentry Guns all the time. I love it. I love doing this stuff. It's hilarious. and it, I, uh, It's just fun, you know? And as I've said before, playing Ghost for about a month, month and a half now, it's just it makes me realize how much fun that I was having in Ghost, but I was still bitch or sorry, how much fun I was having in Black Ops 2, but I was still bitching about it because I was too focused on what they did wrong and what was bad about the game than what was fun about the game. Call of, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was super fast paced, which is what I enjoy. I love that shit. If you give me a fast paced game, I'm gonna love it. I don't care what the problems are. It's like Quake, Quake games. I love arena shooters, stuff like that. Even though they all have problems, they're still fun to play. And Black Ops 2 even right now, it doesn't have problems? Hell yeah! still has problems but I, I have more fun jumping back on the older Call of Duties than I do playing Ghost. I put up a, a Modern Warfare 2 uh, free-for-all game the other day where I was playing against one hacker and one modder. Uh, I really should have titled it Modder Rage Initiated stuff like that but the hacker just fit. The guy that was hacking pure straight up had an aimbot and he won the free-for-all naturally but I was playing 100% legit just skill no mods, no nothing, and I was able to beat the modder because the modder was running super steady aim with a sniper rifle. He could hit fire me across the map, you know, stuff. He just wanted to try to be Grizz, you know, and be a badass, even though it took him mods to do that. And it, it, he just, in the video, he just was raging at me, and it was hilarious. Like, I have a lot of people that watch that video, and even on my live stream now, they'll just get in the party with me, and they'll be like, Mr. Spade, you're irritating me. Because that's all the kid was saying. He's like, oh my god, Mystic Spade! You know, it was hilarious. But I have a lot of fun doing stupid, stupid things in games. Like, I, I recently shared one of my old spawn fails with... Uh, I shared it with Drifter and I shared it with Thunder. And I was just... I wanted them to see it. I wasn't expecting for the, the backlash of what was about to happen to happen. Like, in the course of one day, a video from June 2012 went from 80 views to over 6,000 views in one day. And a lot of people found it, some found it really funny. You know, they found it for what it was. Like, I shot a javelin into the team's spawn, and I died, and I spawned and got killed by my javelin. So if you haven't seen this video, I'll link it in the description so you can see it. Uh, and it's really funny. Like... And I, I, you can see my reaction to it in the light because it's a live stream game as well. It's a live stream highlight. And I'm not upset about it. Like I crack up. I think it's hilarious. And some and a lot, a lot of the people that were commenting on it, it's like that's what you get for being a fucking homo, you know? So like just talking trash because I'm doing something fun. I'm trying to have fun in the game. And then someone else and a few people saw it for what it was. They're like, this is actually funny. They're like, this is hilarious. It's one of the best clips I've seen. You know, this has happened to me once. You know, this I've had this type of situation happen to me. Telling me their stories of how their spawns have just screwed them in game. You know, and and that was cool. Like the feedback I got was amazing. I got a lot of subscribers off that too. Like I literally went from like 225 to 300 and I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, 2225 to 2330 plus now. So I, you know, I I gained almost 100 subs. You know, which is cool. Maybe over 100. I don't know. My math sucks. I'm from the country. But it's if you can just 
I do a lot of stupid stuff in games, like my Pistol Whip series. I started my Pistol Whip series as a joke. You know, I was just playing, and I was like, man, I wonder if I can just play with a pistol and just shit on people. And I did, and I was able to do it consistently, and then I had a little light bulb in my head. And I was like, all right, let's try to make this a, a viable series for my YouTube channel, because I never had an actual series yet. It was just Call of Duty commentaries. So I actually started doing the Pistol Whip series, which went over really well. You know, and I actually was doing a Camper of the Week series, but just with Ghost, I wasn't able to actually... There's no theater mode, so I can't go back and see their perspective. But a lot of people love my Camper of the Week episode, too, because it was like a dating game spinoff. It was pretty funny. You know, <laughs> you know, like I'll put that in the link description, too. I'll put that link in the description so you can check it out. Leave your thoughts and opinions on it. And thank you for everyone that did leave questions for the Q&A that I did with my wife. That was fun. That was the first time she's ever actually been on my YouTube channel. And if you guys want to see more of me and my wife, definitely let me know in the comments and let her know. She actually does watch my videos and read the comments. And another thing, I'm going to ask you guys your opinions on this. Because this is something that she wants to do on her YouTube channel. She does have one, but she doesn't have any videos. She's actually wanting to do sign language music videos and I'm really not sure if that's even okay now since like YouTube's like a big Nazi thing now with any kind of music or anything whatsoever like that I'm sure there's like a network or something like that that has a workaround for it specifically for you know the fact that it's handicapped and they can't really hear the music but she's actually wants to do sign language music videos which I think is really fucking cool you know and I've I've tried to get her to do it a lot, you know, when I'm at home, I'm like, hey, turn the webcam on, get into it, and then when I'll chop it up, I'll edit it for you, and we'll put it up, see what happens. You know, it's not going to be like some Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite stupid sign language with the bird hands, you know, or anything like that, but she's really good. She's really good, and I think it's something that she should do, but leave your opinions, leave your thoughts, let me know if that's something you think would be cool to see. I mean, it'd probably make her really nervous, but... I'm trying to introduce her to this side of me. She hears me do these things. She sees me do these things. And she's <laughs> she's just like, you're essentially just talking to a computer. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty much it. But at the end of the commentaries, end of the day, I know that what I'm saying is going to get heard by all of you. I'm not going to say thousands of people because thousands of people don't watch my stuff. But it's going to be heard by my viewers. And I like your guys' inputs. I like your guys' thoughts because, as I've said before, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for y'all. But anyways, guys, this was Spade. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, check the links in the description for those videos I mentioned. And I'm out.